City in the Tennessee Valley is honoring one of country music's biggest stars. A new mural in Ringgold is a nod to North Georgia's ties to Dolly Parton. Liam Collins is live in the studio with the story. Liam. Yeah, hey Cindy Greg, good evening to you. City leaders in Ringgold are hoping this mural will bring even more visitors to the historic town. It's a way to pay tribute to in a big way that is sure to please Dolly herself. On the corner of Tennessee and Nashville in Ringgold, Georgia, artist Kim Radford is painting the town's legacy. When anything you're associated with Dolly is positive, it's inclusive. Radford was hired by the city to paint a mural of Dolly Parton in a prominent part of downtown Ringgold. She's a beautiful woman to paint. <laughs> but it's not Radford's first rodeo. She's already been hired to paint these two murals in Nashville of the queen of country music. It's an honor to be associated with her. It's an honor to be asked to paint her um, now for the third time. It's putting the city of Ringgold on the map. Radford is calling this a tie the knot mural because Dolly was married just blocks from here nearly 60 years ago. Okay. How do I look? Dolly Parton sat down with Local 3 Cindy Sexton in a one on one interview 10 years ago. She told us her record label didn't want her to get married since she was new to the music scene. We went that next weekend, sneaked up because we didn't want to go anywhere close by. So she and now husband of more than 55 years, Carl Dean, landed in Ringgold, Georgia to get married at the First Baptist Church. At the time, the city was famous as a place to get hitched quick. That now ironically famous wedding was the inspiration behind Radford's Bold's new mural. It is a... Um pays tribute to their long marriage together, so I hope maybe they'll come by and get a picture, who knows. <laughs> that wishful thinking may just come true. Dolly told us in 2012 the couple tries to celebrate their anniversary in the city. Because we try to go down every year if we can. We at least go every, at least every three years. We take a trip down there and have a picnic. But she explained, you probably would never know. I'm not totally in my rhinestones. I used to put on a little makeup for my husband. I usually have my own hair just pulled up a little scrunchie or something. But you wouldn't think about it. You know, you just don't see me that. But if you hear me or see me up close, you know it's me. But we know how to do it. We've been doing this for years there. That's a sacred, special place to us. But there is definitely an interest, kind of an ongoing interest. That sacred, special place is where Eric Kennedy preaches today. We don't talk every Sunday about welcome to the church Dolly Parton got married in, but but it is sort of a, I think it's a, a beloved sort of piece of history for the community. But he says people still ask him about it, maybe even more so now that the face of the woman who brought this church to fame will forever live just a few blocks down. I believe art takes as long as it takes, and I'm not gonna walk away and say, uh, I'm done. I'm gonna walk away when I believe it's just right. The city is paying Radford $27,000 to paint the mural. She plans to finish it by the end of the week, but as you just heard, she may stretch it out a little bit longer as she feels like she should. Now, Dolly and Carl Dean's 56th wedding anniversary, by the way, is next month on May 30th. And now, of course, they have the perfect place to go ahead and celebrate that. And Cindy, you know I'm just absolutely <laughs> obsessed with this story. You know, I was talking about with we were talking yeah. about last week. I need to know what was it like to yeah. interview the Queen of Country Music? I felt so fortunate to get to do that. And she put me at ease because you're going to talk to the queen of country music you might be a little nervous but she was wonderful and afterwards she thanked me for talking about things she didn't get she wasn't accustomed to talk about very yeah. much Ringgold and getting married and and those early days you know when actually she and Porter Wagner did their show here at Channel 3 <laughs> and so she was able to talk a lot about the past and I think she enjoyed it as much as I did yeah well, right down the road there you go yeah. Yeah, <laughs> thanks, Cindy. thanks Liam good Thank story you.